Yeah. Hey now. Woo. Welcome to Preview Review this week. Well, ladies and gents, Spock is gay. That's right, Zach Quinto, the actor from Heroes and the new franchise of Star Trek films, came out of the closet this week. And congrats to him. I'm glad to see, you know, in yeah. this day and age, who cares if you're gay or not? And he was a great Spock, so it's all good. But uh, I think we all know where the old Spocker's been. Ah. Eh? Ah. Eh? Ugh. Alrighty, this week, Musketeers are back. Johnny English is back on the case, but first, we're getting spooky for the third time, for the first time in Paranormal Activity 3. Check it out. Somebody say something! I felt like digging in my side. Did you hear that? It's okay. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> In 1988, young sisters Katie and Christy befriend an invisible entity who resides in their home. The first two scared the crap out of me, so this one should be just as freaky. There's nothing scarier than seeing these flicks and then going home in the dark. I swear, it'll freak you out a bit. This is a prequel to the first two flicks, and this one's showing you why these two sisters are being tormented by these horrible, horrible ghosts. These films got me thinking, though. I wonder if there's any weird happenings around us here at the Preview Review Studios. So we set up some hidden cameras. Let's see what happened. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that paranormal activity lingered. No more tacos for you. No, Ugh. I love tacos. Alrighty, next up we're checking out the British comedy, Johnny English, Reborn. Sir, the Chinese man in spectacles. Contact. Evening. Your grandmother is sick. Well, she's dead. That's how sick she is. Johnny English. Not Mr. Bean? No, it's not Mr. Bean. I like Mr. Bean. Goes up against international assassins hunting down the Chinese premiere. No, it's Johnny English, not Mitch English. Get, get out of here. Oh, well. Well, it's a British comedy. I guess that's why we won the war? I don't know. I like the British comedies here and there. Don't get me wrong, I love Top Gear, and I'm a fan of almost anything Ricky Gervais kicks out, but wow, this just, this looks horrible. And the worst part, it's a sequel. They made a ton of cash on the first one, so I guess we'll see how this does. But, but just to make sure you see all of the hilariousness of the Brits, here's a great montage. Here, enjoy what they have to offer. Yeah, still looks horrible. Next up, have no fear. The three musketeers. The three musketeers are here. Check it out. We're the musketeers. It's up to us to put an end to the Cardinal's plot. I could do with some exercise. All for one. And one, one for all! The hot-headed young D'Artagnan, along with three former legendary but now down-on-their-luck musketeers, must unite and defeat a beautiful double agent. Well, I guess we're rehashing this. It looks like an okay action movie, but the 3D part of it scares me. Usually these types of live-action deals end up not needing the 3D. One of my favorite actors, Christoph Waltz, is in this, along with Orlando Bloom. So, I don't know, maybe it's a Pirates meets Europe fighting? I, this just doesn't appeal to me. But. We here at Preview Review see the three of us, of course, as all kinds of a three musketeer group. Right, guys? Hurrah! One for all and all for NASCAR! Jeez! Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Get out of here. Especially you. Oh, God. All right, that's gonna do it for Preview Review this week. Make sure you head to our website, previewreviewtv.com, for all of our awesome giveaways, DVD giveaways, movie giveaways. We got all kinds of crap on there. Follow us on the Twitter and the Facebook. We will see you next week. Bye! Eh. Eh. Eh.